Hello boys and girls, Ant here, and today I'm playing Missile Cards, the demo. Um, this is a game that's on Steam Greenlight. Um, I'll try and make this a clickable link to Greenlight in annotations. I think you can link to Greenlight through there. Um, but yeah, this is like a sort of mix of Missile Command and Puzzle Card, puzzle card games. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll run through this first. I did a recording just now and things went wrong. Um, basically, the video didn't record. Ha <laughs> ha. Technical fault, say. Eh? Um, but yeah, basically, you've got missiles coming down from the um, comets coming down from the sky, and you get cards to fight them off with. Like basically, it's how this moves along. Let's shot your hand, and you get cards that you chuck in the top, and then you can, you know, blow up the comets with the cards. Stumbling over my words now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give this another go because basically, I. I recorded the video just now, and I recorded it like in full full screen mode. And sometimes Shadow Play doesn't like that if you're not running something like through. Well, certain games just in general seem to just not like Shadow Play. I should use OBS really, but um, yeah. <laughs> so messed up. I went back to look at the recording; it's completely blank. This shouldn't be. That's not a good start. <laughs> um, so I can't demonstrate this just yet. We'll, we'll skip the turn. But the way it works is stuff moves along here. When these comets drop into this bin, then a comet will start to drop from the sky. And what you want is a missile, such as this, and you'll be able to fight off the comets. Hopefully I'll get a missile that can fire free, because that's just a one. That's not that's not super helpful. Um, and your AP here determines what power of card you can chuck up here. Um, I played the game I played before, the first round went horribly. Um, that should charge before that free gets down here. Um, so hopefully this one will go a little bit better. It seems to be going a little bit better right now. Um, it's a game by a guy called Nathan Muna, who Muna Muna, who um, he made a game called This Book Is a Dungeon, which we played on this channel. God, that's like a year ago, I think now. Oh no, it's about to hit. Killed it. I knew that was I knew, See, I had that under control. See? I'm going to blow up that one as well. And then I've got time to move this card up here. See, I've got this, got this all under control. Um, but yeah, he, he made a game called This Book is a Dungeon, which was like a sort of twine... Somewhere between a choose-your-own-adventure and a role-playing game. It was quite an interesting game. He also did a game called uh, Go to Sleep, I think it was, which I never played, but I remember um, Jim Sterling had a play of it ages ago. I'm going to collect these things. You need to use this to collect these little ball things. Um, but yeah, this is going a lot better than my previous run did on my first try. Um, but yeah, this is like quite an interesting little concept. There's a couple of things I think it could do with. But this is only a demo still, so, you know, it's not like it's finished entirely. Um, you know, things I think it could do with is I, I think... No, well, I should probably destroy that. Um, this AP meter, once it's full up, it doesn't really come into play that much, but I know that apparently later on things get a lot more difficult in the full game. Um, I kind of feel like this AP meter should be the amount you can do in a turn. So, for example, if I had, like, 4 AP, I could move 2 cards that take up 2 AP in one turn and then end a turn. Like, if there was an end turn button. Um... I don't want to waste that four on this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that get a little bit closer because you get more points when it's closer. So we can go boom, destroy that, and I can collect the, uh, collect the nice things. I'm gonna end up with um, so many, so many comets coming down, aren't I? But yeah, I kind of feel like, like if you've got that full, like how many you, these number should determine how many of those you can using a turn, as it were. Because it kind of feels like sometimes you're having to make a decision between taking a hit or firing. I'm going to fire. There. Um, oh yeah. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Right. This ain't ideal. That's a one missile, and I've got three very big meteorites coming towards me. <laughs> That's uh, problematic. So I'm not going to be able to charge one of these up in time, am I? And that's going to hit. Well, I could take one hit off of it, it's not going to make a difference. It's still going to destroy me. 
Oh no. Uh, pop that there. That's going to hit me as well. Ugh. I'm not going to be able to charge this one up in time. So that's going to hit me as well. <laughs> this is what I think the AP meter should be used for more cards in one turn. So I could chuck a whole bunch of them up. I failed that. He has said he's designed this to be played over and over though. Like you collect up these points and you can use them to to buy more cards and unlock whatever these are. I don't know what they are. They're quick bonuses. I need to clear the stage to do that. Which means destroying 75 comets. I'm up to 68. Almost there. I've got to win five games though and I've only won two. Um, I think, you know, it's there's an interesting concept here that I quite like. And it works. It does does deal you a bit of a bad hand sometimes. Um... Like I've said to him on Twitter, I think it would be handy if, like, there was something in there to make sure that you could get a rocket um, after so many cards that weren't a rocket, so you've always got a weapon coming back. So you have got some way of defence, because it's not a good idea to, like, force you to choose between taking a hit and not doing anything. Um, this is I'm getting a bad hand already, aren't I? Let's see how this goes. I did manage to win one game in the last video I recorded, but this um, this is off to a bad start. There's a rocket. All right, you can go up there. No, I need free AP to move it up the top. Ah. Okay, will it charge in time? If I get a battery as well, it's not going to charge in time, is it? I can't move it. I'm stuck. So you only get two AP and I can't move that up there because I haven't got the AP. I've had to skip a turn each time. Discard does nothing. <laughs> I wanna... oh dear, I'm gonna take the hits, aren't I? See, that's a free again, I can't move that. It's awkward, that is. I can move that up there, that's not gonna do anything to stop the rockets, the comets from hitting me, though. I've got another one of them. <laughs> I can't move that one. I could have moved that, but then... okay. That's what Nathan described as a fuck you hand, apparently. Let's try again. I want to win one on this. It's tricky. Right, okay, we can move this one up straight away. Yeah. Uh, I can't move that one up yet, but I should be able to move that on the next turn. That's handy. When you've got rockets at the start, you know, there's little things that could be done to it to make it feel a little bit fairer in the, at the start. Like I say, this is like, you know, this is an unfinished game. This is just a demo. You know, maybe if it always spawned like two ro two weapons, two non comic cards at the start. Batteries could be a bit awkward though. I had that in the last round when there was two batteries and I couldn't do anything with them. Let's see how it goes. These are going to drop into here and the comets will come down. I can fight them off with these two rockets I've already got, and then collect up the little point things that come out of it straight away. So I can go boom and destroy that. What else did I say in the last video as feedback? Um, I mentioned the dumb idea because this music's quite cool and driving. Like maybe having some sort of little animations that go in time to the music. Maybe if the weapons on the cars go did 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 like they're firing. And that sounds really dumb, but it's something they do in Advance Wars, and it just make, gives the game a little bit of life. And suck up all those points. But yeah, I used to like. I used to do QA at Electronic Arts, and one of the things you'd always look for is um, ways to improve the game flow in games. And you want it to be like, you want it to be fair, but you also want a challenge. And you get, to, you know, if you're designing the game, you have to determine what that challenge will be. Like, you know, loads of people love Dark Souls, and they know that the challenge in that is, you know, harsh, but it's never unfair in Dark Souls. So that's what you kind of want. Oh god. I'm getting no rockets. So this is the thing, I've had four comets in a row, five comets in... So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six comets, and no way of fighting back. There's a rocket, I can't do much with that though. <laughs> Give me a battery. Ah. Boom. Okay. Let's see, give me a battery. No, that's not a battery. That will charge before that gets here though. I should be able to salvage this. So, do, and then, boom, dealt with that. Um, I've got a turn. You can move the battery at the same time as a turn. So I can. Right. Is that going to aim for that one? 
No, that went the wrong way. <laughs> Should always aim for the lowest one, shouldn't it? No, everything's still alive. <laughs> right, I can... There's no point charging that up because it's going to charge on the next turn. Let's just fire. Boom. Okay, so we got a gun. We can pop a gun up there in the next turn. Let's get two guns up there. And let's collect these loops and chuck this one up there. Because we're going to have another comet coming. We managed to salvage it, so these ones can all take a hit each. This can take two hits in the middle. Like that. Right. And we'll move this four strong one up there just in case we get a, a powerful comet come like that one. See, I've planned that. But yeah, it's. It's like there's little little tiny design flaws that have come across on this, but they're not like game destroying because the game is clearly designed to be played over and over. And it is all about balancing power, but when it's random you don't have as much of a chance to balance that power. That's why I think it would be handy if, if this was your turn meter. So right now, let's say this was down here at a two and a three and a two, I would be able to move both of them up and consume five of those. So moving more cards up would use up the AP, but it could leave you in a worse situation later. Like maybe if there was a re relevance between how charged this is and how fast your weapons charge, maybe. Something like that. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a game designer. I'm just a game QAer. <laughs> we'll get that and I'll fire this one. We'll deal with that. I think I'm getting towards the end of all the comets now. Fire that. You don't want to really use one that's more powerful than the meat comet because obviously this like this is a one power so a weapon that's got one on it will be powerful enough to destroy that comet you know so you want to try to save the more powerful ones if you can but i think maybe if there was like you know a gun that could spread shot as well rather than always targeting one so like let's say this one was a spread shot it's got three damage it could damage one point off every card in the front or three nearest ones maybe and that way you could like wipe out a row of comets you said that apparently this gets properly difficult as it goes on so that's good <laughs> let's chuck that there because these are no danger just yet i can i can fight back against this like that I'll fire this one next boom uh That's going to be charged up. No, so that battery you don't need. I should fire this rocket, shouldn't I? Oh, I could have let that got cl get closer, really. Get more points for it. Let's chuck one of them up there. I am well in supply of rockets here. Could do with that. I want to collect these little, little things up as I blow them up, don't I? Get me some points spend towards things. They fade after every few turns though. There you go, that was gone. I'll get that one. Uh, might as well chuck another one up here. There's no comets for a few turns. Uh, use that, might as well. Skip turn, throw that in the bin. Chink. This card button's not highlighted. <laughs> I'm sure that comes into it. At some point, I've, I've got this. Like, boom, that's dead. This comet's only a two. Uh, I'm sure, I'll have that. Let's uh, destroy that. And collect its its spoils. Wee! Oh, hazards cleared. That was the last card. I did it. I did it, Mum. Uh, just got to win five games and I'll, I'll complete this. There's bonus objectives, which I do not know what they are. They are a mystery. Um, they're saying there's going to be a beta build later, which will have the first three stages in it, which will be interesting. Um, and apparently there's supernovas and stuff later on. But yeah, I mean, even though I've said a whole bunch of things on here with like game design and stuff, where I've gone into like the AP and everything, I don't really have too much of a problem with it. It's like it's harsh, but when it when it flows, it's really fun. 
Um, I think the main thing to do would just be to make it so that the the game flow feels a bit more fair when you get those decks which are just comets like I had at the start. But yeah, that's missile cards. Hopefully the video's recorded properly this time. We'll find out in a minute. Catch you later, guys. Bye.